We're here today at the American Academy of Ophthalmology meeting in Chicago and we're talking with Dr. Aaron Stahl. Welcome. Thank you. I uh, just wanted to hear a little bit more about your talk today on mainstreaming corneal cross-linking in, in pediatrics. Could you, could you touch some, on some of your highlights of that? Sure. I talked at the, the pediatric subspecialty day about uh, cross-linking in children and I'm a pediatric ophthalmologist who is also trained in cornea so this is kind of my crossover specialty. Um, I really think it's important to get the word out there to general ophthalmologists optometrists and pediatric ophthalmologists about when to send children who have keratoconus for cross-linking. Um, and the most important thing is really at diagnosis to get those kids um, tested, confirmed for diagnosis, and get them treated as soon as possible. Um, if we let the keratoconus progress, they end up with a really abnormal corneal shape. And then even though we halt the progression with the cross-linking, we don't end up giving them a good ocular surface. They need a scleral lens to have good vision. Um, so that was the biggest point of my talk, is just to make sure that people are aware not to sit on kids with keratoconus and wait to send them for referral for cross-linking. Then it truly is a treatment for keratoconus. It stops the progression. If we let them progress too far, they end up with a, a very abnormal corneal shape. They need scleral lenses to be able to have good vision afterwards. That was another big point in my talk, is that a lot of times kids end up with a really abnormal corneal shape and instantly we send them for a corneal transplant rather than thinking about cross-linking followed by scleral lenses. They can, they can have good vision long-term in scleral lenses, be able to play sports, have normal lives, not be in and out of the operating room um, managing a corneal transplant. And I've restored kids who have count fingers vision to start um, to 20-25, 20-30 vision, very, very functional without the need for additional surgery after cross-linking. So I really, really think it's, it's a valuable thing to get out there is that we need to identify these children early and we need to get them treated. Thank you very much.